us that means there is air everywhere around us so all of us have a general idea that all the living beings on the earth require air for their living purpose for the life to continue human beings require air they do the respiration process same way animals do respiration process same way plants also do the respiration process and then the microorganisms living in the soil also do the respiration process so all living things require air then can you say can we see air no right we can never see air air is transparent but we can feel the air how can we feel the air in our day to day life by the leaves of the trees rustle whenever the air is blowing the leaves of the trees also will be moving no thereby we can feel the air then if your mother or your any of your parents dry the dry the wet clothes then if air is blowing the clothes will move from one place to another to and fro so rustle of the drying clothes also you can feel the air then if you have kept a book open then if there is full fan running in the full speed then the pages of the open book flutter when the fan is switched on then you can feel that there is air then if you are flying a kite the kite flies in the direction of the wind right there also flying kite helps you feel the presence of air then separation of sawdust by winnowing so this we have read earlier in the separation of substances so winnowing is the process by which sawdust and the sand will be separated that means heavy particles and lightweight particles will be separated heavy particles will stay stay in that plate and light particles with the help of wind will fly away to another place separation of sawdust and sand is done by a process called winnowing where large weight particles and light weighted heavy weighted and light weighted particles will be separated by the presence of air with the help of air then during a heavy air storms that is sometimes we get heavy wind storms where wind wind will blow with very high speed like around us and we can feel the presence of the air so can we say that air is present everywhere around us yes we can say that air is present everywhere around us how let's take let's give you an example of a simple experiment take two plastic cups fill them with water take two plastic cups fill them with water take two empty plastic bottles say 1 liter mineral mineral water bottles you can take two empty plastic mineral water bottles then that mineral empty water bottle one liter bottle dip it directly in a inverted direction in the first cup then what you observe the water will not be displaced there will be no change in the position of water a plastic bottle you have inverted it straight into the first cup of water then there will be no change the water will not be displaced anywhere the water will not move anywhere and in the second cup the the plastic bottle you are placing it in a cross way not in a straight way so here plastic bottle you have inverted straight and here the plastic bottle is inverted a little bit slantly in that stage what happens the water will slowly enter this plastic bottle along with the some bubbles and we also hear some sounds also this experiments we do suppose we are removing some water from a tank then we insert something then that time what happens we hear some sounds along with the see bubbles as the air enters this as the water enters this as the water enters this bottle so what does it prove that this plastic bottle which we are thinking empty is actually not empty it contains air inside it but in first instance when it was inverted directly the air did not escape anywhere so that is the reason water did not enter inside whereas in this instance the bottle was inverted in a cross shape that means in a slanting direction the bottle was inverted in the cup of water in that instance what happened the place occupied by the air was filled by the water the air went outside and the water entered inside so there why you observed bubbles and the sounds of this bubbles also so we can conclude that the empty plastic bottle was filled with air so as we entered it in, in, as we inserted this inverted plastic bottle in the first cup of water there was no change in any water solution but in second instance we inverted this plastic bottle in a slanting direction thereby the air present inside the bottle went out and the water entered inside when the water entered inside we also have seen some bubbles along with some sounds of the bubbles 
So we can say that the bottle was looking empty, but it was not empty. There was air present inside it. So we can say that air occupied space. So that empty space which was present in the bottle was occupied by air. So in both the instances, air was the bottle was occupied by air. But here, because we inserted in a straight direction, the water did not enter. So here we have given some space for the air to escape. Because we inverted the bottle in a slanting direction, so there where the air escaped and the water entered inside along with some bubbles and along with some sounds. So here there, we did not give any space for the air to escape. That is why here water did not enter. So we can say that air occupied space. So the bottle was looking empty but it was not empty. Air occupied that space in the bottle. And then air has no color. Here we did not see any color of the air. Air is always transparent and the earth the earth which we live the atmosphere around the earth is surrounded by a thin layer of air so earth is surrounded by a thin layer of air which extends thousands of kilometers because earth is very vast right very big it has many continents and the total earth is covered by air so air is surrounded by a thin layer of air earth is surrounded by a thin layer of air which extends to many kilometers. The distance of the air on the earth is many kilometers. <coughs> Why do mountaineers carry oxygen while they climb the mountains? So mountaineers means the persons who climb the mountains. Generally in the newspapers, in the news, we hear that people are climbing Mount Everest. They have, climbed, they have reached up to certain height. They have reached up to certain meters. So what happens is, as you go up, that means as the altitude or the height increases, the amount of the atmosphere, the atmospheric pressure or the air decreases. So as you go up, as the altitude increases, amount of air decreases up to 12,000 of feet from the ground level. There will be good amount of oxygen and oxygen amounts for 21% of the complete air. Understood? Oxygen amounts for 20% of the complete pre air present on the earth and you will get oxygen up to 12,000 feet of height from the ground but after that height you will not get any oxygen that is the reason mountaineers carry oxygen cylinders with them because after reaching to a certain height the atmospheric pressure decreases and as the altitude de decreases as the altitude means as the height decreases atmospheric pressure decreases thereby the amount of oxygen in the air decreases that is the reason they carry oxygen cylinders with them to support their breathing processes so up to the height of 12,000 feet there will be good oxygen but after 12,000 feet the amount of oxygen will decrease atmospheric pressure decreases as the height increases because if you travel in aeroplanes also sometimes you will be having safety oxygen masks why? because sometimes you may have scarcity of oxygen because flights travel at a greater height that's why they tell you in emergency in, if you are traveling in a flight or aeroplane the oxygen masks will automatically come out if there is decrease in the pressure outside that means if there is atmospheric pressure is decreased outside in the aeroplanes automatically the oxygen masks come down and you have to wear them so that is the reason mountaineers carry oxygen cylinders because after reaching to a certain height they do not get oxygen atmospheric pressure decreases as the altitude increases and they do not get oxygen supply only up to 12,000 feet right from the ground level there will be oxygen molecules after that there will be no, mox no oxygen molecules as the atmospheric pressure decreases that is the reason mountaineers carry oxygen and suppose if you are tra traveling in a flight or an aeroplane if the outer atmospheric pressure decreases automatically the oxygen masks come up and you will be directed by the cabin crew to put on the oxygen masks because if the pressure decreases you will require more oxygen right clear so this was the experiment to prove that there is air everywhere around us and the air is transparent air is colorless air has no specific odor or smell also